Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. As I said with yesterday's video and obviously just before the start here, there is a disclaimer. This is for commentary, this is also for criticism, news reporting and for education and research. This is to let people know what these court documents are saying and that is it. And also, I may give my opinion here and there. Yesterday, we did a couple of pages, you know, we ran for like 17, 18 minutes, and we were just going through a few things regarding the title of the op-ed, and seeing that, uh, she was like, nope, it wasn't me, it was them, the Washington Post did it, it wasn't us, and it wasn't the ACLU. But then Terence Doherty came out, and he was like, actually, no, yeah, we knew what was going on. So that's what we had by there, so we are going to jump straight back into it, guys. We are starting by here. So evidence respecting either her or Mr. Depp's pledges or donations to charities should be excluded. Now, this is a huge one, to be honest with you, because obviously she said that she donated millions and millions of dollars. And obviously that is just not true. Because if you remember, we do have a video of where she is going on and she's like, well, no, I donated. I gave away $7 million. It went to this place and this place. But then, obviously, the ACLU were like, yeah, she hasn't paid. It was a hundred grand from Johnny Depp up front. And then, obviously, we also saw from the Children's Hospital Los Angeles, who were like, yeah, she hasn't given us any money. And obviously, you could see why they would want to get that part excluded from the courts, because it does show that she is a liar. But as you can see by here, evidence of her pledges and donations to charity should be excluded at virtually every hearing and deposition. Counsel for Mr. Depp has adamantly pronounced that Miss Heard is a liar because she said she donated the seven million she received from the divorce proceedings to charity, and she has not, and she has deprived children with cancer needing surgery. The reality is that AH has been responsible for donations of roughly one million towards each charity. Sadly, not from her, is in other people's names, and fully intends to complete her pledges to both, but because she was sued by Mr. Depp in this lawsuit, she has been unable to fully fulfill the pledges yet. And obviously with that, if you remember, she said that she uh, had to save her money. Her lawyers came out and said, because Mr. Depp is suing her, she needs to save the money. But obviously then it's come out that she's not paying her lawyer firm. You know, it's not them, it's the insurance company. The insurance company is now suing Amber Heard for $5 million. So that does go to show that this whole thing is a whole, just one whole big mess for her. Now, I obviously just go on to say that, uh, you know, significantly, uh, sorry, the, both organizations have testified there is no expiration date on the pledges. No, because the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles like, well, where's our money? Because they even sent emails asking, where's the money? Significantly, this has nothing to do with whether Mr. Depp did this to her. No, it doesn't, but it just brings out, like we were saying, the path of, is she lying or not? The linchpin of virtually every effort in court, in third-party depositions, and in the press, to discredit her and suggest because she's not yet fulfilled the entire amount of the pledges, she is a liar. And therefore, the jury should conclude because she lied about not yet paying all of... The 3.5 million to the Children's Hospital at LA and not paying 3.5 to the ACLU. And she must be lying about this. Well, remember, all the evidence going forward, the jury of her peers, they were like, yeah, she's guilty. That's exactly what happened. This is precisely the type of collateral issue that should be excluded under Virginia rules of evidence. This numbers as completely irrelevant and likely to lead to significant prejudice and confusion by the jury. Information related to AH's pledge to donate $7 million, the proceeds of her divorce settlement, to charity does not make it more or less probable that Mr. Depp done this. Mr. Depp has testified that the settlement proceeds had nothing to do with any claims of this by her. None of the $7 million that she was awarded in the divorce had anything to whatsoever to do with any of her claims. Any of that, no. There is not even a remote nexus between her donations and any claim, either by Mr. Depp or her in this case, and there is no mention of donations in either pleading. While Mr. Depp argued in the UK proceeding that she, her allegations were motivated as an insurance policy, 
and to build a dossier, neither of which relate to the $7 million pledged charity. Her sole motivation for claiming this as alleged by Mr. Depp in this litigation is to further her career. Now, if you remember going back to actual Terence Doherty, which we're not going to show the uh, court segment with him because the ACLU has been getting in touch with people and asking them to remove that segment from their live streams because Terence Doherty doxed himself on national, well, worldwide TV. That's why no one's doing it. But he said in there, like, no, yeah, this is why, you know, she said she wanted to come out with Aquaman because it'd be more of a, of a boost for the film. That's why they did it. It came out on the, well, was it the day before or day after Aquaman came out in 2018? It was one of those two days. So that does show, and that was her and her team, like, we wanted to come out on this date. The ACLU had their own agenda, I will admit that, you know, because that's what these places do. If they've got an agenda, they will rope someone in. And that's exactly what they did with her. They basically saw it as, right, we both can get something from this, and it didn't work out. So it does go on to say there's absolutely no allegation, settlement, proceed to anything to do with this. He specifically denied the $7 million payment to her, had anything to do with the allegations. Her announcement that she would be donating the money to the ACLU and the Children's Hospital was more than two years prior to the publication of the op-ed. The subject of his defamation claim, and contrary to Ms. Depp's common refrain, she has never tied her donations to her motivation for this, the idea of which is risable. But again, if we remember, 2018, February 2018, is when Johnny Depp paid the last of the $7 million to her. The first uh, payment, the first payment plan of it, that went to the uh, charities. And they've even said, yes, we received them with his name. And she's like, no, I want the money now in my account. Okay, fair enough. You know, you can have it, it's yours, this, whatever. And obviously, you know, her and her team were like, well, no, he's only doing this because he wants the tax write-off. Well, you, you know, you said you want to give the money to charity anyway, so just cut out the middleman. I'll just send it directly to them. But she didn't like that. And then it was March of 2019, 13 months later, when Johnny Depp decided to sue her for the op-ed. And that's when her team were like, oh, yeah, she had to keep the money because he, she was again sued by him. How did she know he was, that she was going to get sued 13 months after being given the uh, last amount of payment? You know, that's why there's so many things going on with this. And... It's just, it's, it's mind-blowing, to be honest with you, of how many things that everyone has had to jump through, including, uh, you know, both sides. I will admit, both sides have had to jump through so many hoops. It's ridiculous. Now, obviously, it does say to go on that uh, if the court deems the evidence of donations somehow irrelevant, Mr. Depp should preclude it from offering it under the rule, and its probative value would be greatly outweighed by the danger of unfair prejudice and his likelihood of confusing or misleading. She knew he was going to go forward, and it's exactly what happened. He raised the issue of donations on countless occasions before this court to allege in dramatic fashion that she lied about donating to kids with cancer, which she did, you know? But then, obviously, the ACLU changed it around, and they come out, oh, no, here we are, look at this, it's the uh, letter, the ACLU now, this is the letter that we're sending to her, you know, so, you know, she's pledged it, blah, blah, blah. Who has a 100-year logo on documents four years before the 100-year anniversary of the company? No one does. No one does. You know, that's why it was made in that time frame. Obviously, you know, Ms. Depp commonly repeatedly uh, suggested that she is abandoning sick children would serve no pur purpose, excuse me, other than to significantly uh, prejudice a jury. Going on, as you can see, furthermore, the details of the multiple transactions pertaining to the donations, including transactions from donor-advised funds, how they are classified and credited towards her pledges, and the legal impact of signing a pledge form are complex and requires legal expertise. And will create a confusing sideshow that will distract from the already complicated issues in this case. Moreover, Mr. Depp has not designated an expert for this topic. Now, he does go on to bring about Mr. Depp repeatedly attempted to tie Elon Musk to the donation issues. Well, saying that, 
his company is one of the people who sent a check for five hundred thousand dollars on suggestions of amber heard terence doherty said that in the aclu when he was doing his in court doing his uh, thing with him when he is giving his testimony he said yes elon musk this company blah 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 500 grand wanted it in her name that's what they did and it's just mad how they're going on about you know like we want all this excluded that excluded and to be honest with you i can see why like i was saying all of this is to do with the article that is it nothing else you know but again you gotta bring in all the other stuff because you need to prove it that's what it is you need to go out there and say well this has already happened so if she's lying about this she should or could be lying about that is that's how it's worked and that's how it actually played out but there is one interesting thing so i will be ending the video here because i don't want to go a little bit too long like we did yesterday and we have seen people where elaine now she's come out and said that oh we weren't allowed to ask this question or we weren't allowed to ask these or whatever and ben chu has come out as well and said he or she, she had hours she had as long as she needed to question certain people but she didn't you know some of the questions that she wanted to ask she could have asked but she didn't continue to question the person you know it's i really do think from the get-go that elaine knew this was a, a no-win situation I, I really do but obviously when you're being paid and with a link we've found out and you know supposedly she hasn't seen the inside of a courtroom for like 20 years supposedly and if that is the case that is crazy and to be honest with you rottenborn he's he's meant to be a good lawyer but i think they just had too little to go with and that's exactly what it happened but we're gonna leave it by here guys so if you are new to the channel please like and subscribe Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.